Hello and happy gaming everyone! It's me, Dark Sage Walker, and I swear I'm not going to say anything really cringy. Boat flaps. So I lied, I apologize. Alright, so what's the deal today? I think today is just going to be an Eden run because I still... I still do not... Really? Macrophagy? Alright, well I mean, it's something. Starting with a fire rate of 12 isn't great, but, you know, is that. Sorry, not the biggest fan of Lacrophagy, but it's not a horrible pickup, it just means that my range stat is more or less irrelevant. I know birds, right? I mean, Lacrophagy, what a start. I have a pill, but I don't necessarily feel like it's a good idea to use it. Give me that, give me that. I don't know if you guys can see those messages or not, but, you know, just having a nice little soy milk with lacrophagy. <coughs> I don't know if that's a good idea or not. What the hell, let's try it. Worst thing that can happen is I just lose really bad. Which, you know, is honestly what I'm expecting with a damage rate this low. But, what the hell, we'll try it. Like I said, it's, the worst thing that can happen is I lose, which, oh no, not that. You can never lose playing a video game, you have to be perfect all the time. I think, well, that, that invalidates my entire life! I'm a loser! Read between the lines, I do not actually think about myself like this. Other people may disagree. Okay, definitely thinking that the whole thing that this was a mistake. Might just restart a run. There's still plenty of things I need to do, plenty of ideas that I, that I need to work with and go for. And to be fair, I'm kind of hoping that I that I come across some of them by accident. But I will look up and see which unlocks I have, which ones I don't. Mmm, lovely. It is a, it's a lovely, huh? Lovely fight to get into when you have an iffy setup like, you know, soy milk lacrophagy. Oh, and I'm dead! Awesome. Let's do that again except for without shit. So how do you feel about that run? Hmm. No, sir? I didn't like it. I don't know how many people remember Mr. Horse. Please tell me I'm not the only one that has positive memories of Ren and Stimpy. Alright, this is a much better start. Chemical peel and... And a better fire rate, better movement speed, better... Only slightly better damage. I'm more or less just going to say we're starting with the same damage. But this is a much better start. We even have the D6, so if I come across an item I don't like, change it! Like, you know, Mr. Boom. But actually, I will take this because I would like to get that Tinted Rock. Here we go. And now we have our own bombs. Hey, sometimes the best thing to do is just... Hmm, use your resources. I say that all the time when I play that game, but I can't stress it enough. Use your resources. Resourcefulness is your friend in this game. Alright, so now I can take back the D6. We'll try rerolling this once, this, this way. And then we'll use that, and I will take Bomber Boy because that's amazing. Alright, so we've got a very bomb centric run, it seems, or at least that's the way it looks right now. Will it stay that way? Who knows? 
Hey, would you like to get blown up for me? Thank you. I appreciate that. Alright, I see what's going on here. Alright, so we will save that soul heart until after the boss, just to make sure that we've got that for the next floor to pad out our Devil Deal chances. By the way, if there was anything that I blamed the last run's failure on, aside from just me being an idiot, it would definitely be the Lacrophagy start. Alright, cool. If I get another key, then I'll have something to work with, but right now I don't want to use my keys for the gold chest because I still need to hit the item room and, the, and potentially the shop on the next floor. I will open one of them, however, now. Because there's still a good chance that I'll get a key either out of one of these chests. Well, that was a waste. Thanks a lot, golden chest. You ruined my life! Hey guys, you want that? Thank you. No. Sorry, Curse of Darkness. I blame everything on that. Including that. Oh, I was not a smart dog, but I'm glad I landed it. Landed the dodge? Really? Did I just say that? Alright, I'm also noticing it was probably a mistake to take the battery so quickly. But, oh well. Oh, it's the Haunt again! Hi, Haunt! How are you? I feel I feel like we just met each other. You might have just killed me. Alright, something I didn't know about the little Haunts is that they actually follow your control pad movements. So if it seems like they're being really unfair and reading your controls, that's because they are. Because they're jerks. Don't need to use any more bombs against you, you're pretty much dead. Definitely not re-rolling synth oil, and thank you very much for the opportunity. Now let's go back and grab those soul hearts. Again, I blame it on Curse of Darkness, it's not that I didn't know there was a rock there. Oh, hi! Mouse Cursor, how you, how you doing? Why, why are you just sitting there? Get... Here. And there. Sweet. There, this will act as a nice little buffer zone between... between me and my devil deal. That should work out pretty well. Alright, on to the next floor! Alright, I don't really feel like I was losing a streak. I only had a streak of two before this, so it's not, not like I'm missing out on anything. I see the red flame there. Don't see a reason to, to do anything about it, though. Beautiful. I love it. Not really interested in opening the Mimic. Not that I don't have the health to spare. Oh, thanks. Thank you for giving me more enemies to kill in this beautiful room. Samson, I mean, it's better than the friggin' used diaper. Got plenty of red hearts to do this with, so hopefully we get the, an immediate payout. Of course not. You know what? I'm not upset about getting a Chaos card. On the other hand, it would have been nice if you had paid out with an actual Devil Deal item. I might be able to come back for that later, depending on what things are looking like later in the floor. I will want to hopefully have healed some Red Heart damage, though. Robo Baby. Oh, Sagittarius. Thank you. I will generally always be okay with piercing shots of some kind. Except in that last run where it actually kind of cost me to take it. 
But I don't think that situation is going to come up too much more. I did message the modder who made the May mod. Hopefully he can figure out what's going on. I'm terrible at LUA. I tried to make some mods of my own, but I am no good at this. Now, the honest fact of the matter is, it could I probably just need some tutorial and some practice. But at the moment, I feel like I'm just wasting everyone's time by doing that. Alright. Or by, doing, by trying to do LUA coding. And yes, I will take Death's List. There are many people who are iffy on Wiggle Worm. I like it. Mostly, mostly because outside of the silly shot pattern, it is a... it is a tears up. It doesn't necessarily break the tears cap, but if you have an item that breaks the tears cap, then it does a fine job of that all on its own. Otherwise, it's just it's just an item that that improves your tier stat. But I mean, who doesn't want to fire faster? I don't like firing more shots. Shut up! You're a liar. That would be like the one fringe case where you look at that and go, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it because of the mega troll bombs. So. You're gonna let a fringe... I'm talking about not the fire rate, but about piercing shots. Like, you're gonna let one fringe instance tell you whether or not an, an effect is good? Crowd control, sir. Crowd control. By the way, no, I'm not talking to anyone in particular, even if it sounds like I am. I just see no... I see no... no instance where piercing shots is a bad thing. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah, pretty much removes my... Really? Uh, if I have a key, then I can get that. Then I'll have blank card chaos card. And then at that point, I've pretty much won. At the moment, I don't have a key, however. It's kind of why I'm doing the rest of the floor, because I'm trying to find stuff. Ooh, speed upgrade from Death's List. Everything is going well. Absolutely, totally swell. Sir, what the fuck lyrics are those? The ones I just made up. I don't have a key, so I can't get in there. Alright, let's blow up two of these. Alright, well, that gives me a little bit of bomb security, so I'll blow up this one. Alright. I do think, despite what I just said, the shop is probably more important. Alright, gimme that. Gimme that. Because even if I don't use the sharp plug immediately, and I probably won't, the idea of having it to open up potential infinite routes, that is big. I will be holding on to it just in case something else, something makes itself available. You know, like a squawkin' bird. Squawkin' bird, you making yourself available? You're not against a little criticism, are you? Nah, my birds don't have don't have that thin of skin. They can take a little criticism. Okay, Dark Sage, but what are you criticizing them for? Look, if I had the answers to all of your questions, I I would be frickin' Nostradamus. Alright, so, admittedly, Death's List is going to be kind of hard to make total use of, but it doesn't mean I won't try. Problem is, enemies that split into other enemies are going to make this very difficult for me. Thanks! Dropping that outside of where I can even pick it up. What I am doing by breaking all the poops is looking for either more coins or hearts. Let's not hit the hit that room just yet. Oh, 
I'll probably end up coming back to the cursed room, but especially since there's a chance that there will be a key in there, and I need keys. Like, really bad. So what you're saying is you don't want to take Guppy's tail right now. Correct. Alright, so we'll get a death list payout in this room. Oh, a damage up! Oh, thank you, death list. Sweet. Another bomb. Hey, that's a nice game, but I really need keys. There's one key. Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and use it for... The smart thing to do is use it for the shop so I can potentially buy another key if there's nothing there I want. Well, wow, that backfired. Alright, give me this. That would be the smart thing to do. Mm. Temperance. You're gonna make me kill the boss before the tiny little minion? Ow. Oh my goodness, that was just nuts. Okay, stop! Stop already! What's wrong with you? Alright, so we've got two chances to re-roll whatever is in here. Oh, I'm so tempted to take Mom's knife. Yeah, sorry guys, but I'd like a winning run. Adversity can foster hope and resilience. You're not wrong, but I don't have that much health. Oops. Alright, I was trying to go back for the item room. Yes, I will take purity. Oh my god, look at that speed. Alright, this this is now what you call uncomfortably quick. Oh sweet, another curse of darkness. Why did I take that? Should have left it. Hey, keys! Sweet, I was just saying I needed more of those. Alright, so, admittedly, the knife does make the run pretty easy, but. I'm not against having a having a simpler run this time around. Alright, this is probably going to knock a lot of coins out of there, but I think it's worth it for Curse Immunity and a Black Heart. And Greater Devil Deal Chance. Basically, there's no reason not to, not to take Black Candle if it shows up. Okay, that was a pretty pro-level dodge, if I do say so myself. Two more bombs, thank you. Okay, I'm not even gonna try. Maybe I will try for Death's List in this room. Ow. You know what? Let's go ahead and take out the boss. That was easy. <sighs> Problem here, I can't actually take that. If I take it, I will die, so let's see if it... Nope. Oh, well. It was worth a shot. Alright, still have the item room to look for. Excuse me, Rotten Baby, could you please tell your flies to back off until exploding enemies are no longer right in my face? 
Damn it. I absolutely hate those things so much. Thank you. Resourcefulness! I say it every time I play this game, I never mean it any less. Um, excuse me, what the hell? You serious? Oh, that's awful. I don't want that. Yes, she still gets upset when people just aren't paying attention to her. Okay, so mom's bra, not good. Let's see what what we re-roll it into. Eh, better. I don't have that many more re Oh, I had one more re-roll opportunity. Everyone shut up. Mistakes will be made, such as terrible dodges that lead you to only having one and a half soul hearts. That's pointless. I will buy that, though. Are you good? Eh, not incredibly. Okay. Lame. Okay. On we go. There's still more ground to cover, and hopefully I'll be playing better so I can get some health back and not die. Because not dying is the ultimate goal of any good Isaac run. Oops. That's okay. So many bombs. So many wide-ranging, big-coverage bombs. I am playing just terribly today. Just god-awful plays on my behalf. Alright, gotta play it, gotta take things a little bit more carefully, because I am just getting wrecked. Come on, bird, be nice. I'm starting to get a little turned off to Wiggle Worm at the moment. I'd rather have something different. I know I said I liked it, and when I was working with regular old tiers, that's absolutely fine, but the problem is I'm noticing that the shifting hitbox is making it difficult to land, uh, to land my shots. Like, I'm pretty sure I should have hit that guy, but for some reason I didn't. Okay, that's not going to help too much. I only have one key! As much as I love seeing that room, I only have one key. Alright, so let me do myself a favor here. It's a little better. Oh, I see. I see you there. Like, like Lady Palutena says, nobody can hide from the light. There. This is. This makes. This is making the knife much more consistent. This I am okay with. 
I think that might have been the problem earlier is that I was throwing the knife, it wasn't hitting things, and then of course they hit me because, you know, they're still alive to hit me. And then I'm going, well, what the heck? Hello, shot speed. Eh, oh well. A fella can try, after all. Ooh, more damage ups. Oh, Death's List. Oh, oh well. Hey, a card. Is it a good card? It's an okay card. It'll make one room real easy. Like this room. Oh, hey! Nice. And I have no problem with Charge Baby, either. Get over here, buddy. You and I are going on an adventure. That was terrible. Range and luck. I mean, okay, I wasn't exactly skippy about getting that, but... Could also be a lot worse. One last thing before I leave this floor. Guys, what are you arguing about? I'm guessing you don't even know. Ooh, Joker card. Let's just go ahead and use it. The task ahead is terrible. And weakness well, I'm not going to turn down Brimstone Mom's knife. It's an odd combination. I'm not sure how I feel about it. But I know it's popular. So what the hell? Let's just take it. And it does it does do it does do a decent amount of damage. I'm just I'm just always get a little put off by how random the knives seem to be when I use it. Works out great against big targets, and I guess it does give me coverage. Oh, okay. Is that the problem here? I can't reach that battery. Alright, well now the question becomes, do I even care about Samson's chain? And the answer is yes. I care about it because it can block shots, and that to me outweighs the downside of it, it will occasionally do things like break something that... Break, or break a, yeah, it'll sometimes break a bomb rock, or it'll you know, do something along those lines, but ultimately the idea that it blocks shots, or can anyway, to me, makes it worthwhile. And got a soul heart from Death's List, so... This floor was transformative. I feel much better about things after this floor. We're also pretty much at the point where I'm willing to... drop the D6 if I find something good. Okay. I don't know what I was thinking was going to be in there for, you know, four coins or less. Tweet, tweet. Come on, buddy. You good. <coughs> oh, pardon me. There we go. Alright, that actually worked out quite nicely. Two of diamonds. Ooh, let's, let's see how much money we can accrue before the shop. Beautifully done. No tinted rocks. There's a tinted rock here, though. Um. Ooh, okay. You're not going to hear me complain about that. It just means I need to charge my knife longer to get it to go a longer distance.
Ha 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 Yo Dark Sage, you're getting kinda sloppy with that death list, aren't you? I personally say no. There are plenty of there are plenty of times to go ahead and go for the death list play, but when things are looking iffy, then it's probably when you don't want to worry about death list too much. Wow, three luck upgrades. I'm lucky. If I hmm? If I didn't have Triple Shot, Brimstone, and Mom's Knife, I would take that. As is, I would like to re-roll it into something better. But I'd also like to find the shop. Beautiful Death List payout there. Plenty happy about that. <laughs> no idea where the shop is, though. Come on, shop, where are you? There you are. Oh, I probably... Damn it. Uh, night light. Humbling bundle is not bad, but it's not really going to help me that much now. I do like the idea of tarot cloth. And since I'm not as in as much need of these bombs to be... By the way, where did my two of diamonds go? There's no... Actually, it wouldn't matter. I'm not taking that much damage. Ow. like to not be making embarrassing crap dodges anymore, please. Didn't that kind of up to you, genius? Shut up. Don't make me perform an action that I'll regret. Yay! Alright, you know what? One coin ain't worth it. Let's just come back down here. The promise of payment. Indeed, sir. The promise of payment. Alright, that I'm just gonna hold on to for now. We'll take BFF because that's awesome. Honestly, I'm probably gonna get more out of this than I would out of. Chaos card anyway. Let's just take that and run amok with it. Hmm, I see a play here. I think we all know where I'm going to be going with this. There's a terrible ass trinket. We will definitely take Gimpy. We'll take Judas's shadow, step outside. I'm going to take the negative. I'm going to make myself go kaboom. Use that. 
take this. Yeah, what the hell. Give me Guppy's tail. Alright. Now look at this run. We are looking... We are looking so strong. And by some strange fortune, we get Death's List to pay out. Alright. This is also a dead end. Awesome. Yeah, look at that. I've got no bombs to get into that secret room with. We're amazing. Another Death's List payout. Alright, doing very well for ourselves. And then just slam face first into an enemy and take all the damage. Perfect. But, that made it so that we get the Power Aura. So once again, feeling pretty good about things. On the other hand, be careful, you don't exactly have an extra life to use. And you would've if you had kept Judas's shadow. Do you see this damage? Do you see it? Did you really think I was just gonna leave that sitting on the table? No, we are looking fantastic right now. Just because I'm complaining about taking a hit does not mean that the run is going poorly. Oh, a tear delay bonus! All right! I'm actually, like, genuinely excited for that. That's awesome! And we get another death list payout. And it's just a damn pill! Just a damn pill! Alright, let's move quick. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, and Death's List gave me that. That's the thing about Death's List that I don't think a lot of people know in these kind of like puzzle rooms where you have to get through and get through and hit a switch without taking too much damage from the traps. Death's List does activate there too. Once you clear the room, you do get a Death's List bonus for it. Okay, I'll take the shot speed. And the Hermit. Not really great with Tarot Cloth, but you know what? Not bad either. Means I can essentially steal from a mob from a mob trap room. I guess it would be a boss trap room now, wouldn't it? Are you fucking serious? You bitch. Nice. You know, looking back on that, I probably should have just played the slot machine. I did not think about it, though, obviously. Nah. Okay, we're gonna come back and re-roll that, because I'm pretty sure we can do better than a little haunt. Oh, a damage up! Thank you, Death's List. You are you are a gentleman and a scholar. That is one of the best things about having Death's List, is that it does activate in these rooms. That, to me, just makes it a beautifully top-tiered item. As soon as I have some invulnerability in a can, like a chariot card or something, I might come back and 
hit that up, but as of right now, it just seems like a dangerous idea. Alright, before we go back, let's make sure we have a nice and full double stun, double charge stock on the D6 so we can reroll that little haunt twice if we have to. Thank you. You'd almost think I have the miter, but I don't. See, and that's what I mean by Samson's chain can block shots. And that is why I decided to take it. It's even more effective now that I have the now that I have BFF. It's, oh, it's so good. It saved me from so much unnecessary damage. Tammy's head. Not bad, but I'll come back to that. I'm not gonna take it. If I had if I had just Brimstone without Mom's knife, oh in a heartbeat. Cause that just becomes hard carry the item. Money? Oh! Oh, it's doomsday for this place. And curios. Sold at a profit, of course. Why, yes, my knives are skipping, sir. That's ridiculous. So is your face. I duffed really hard on that. I did not see the spike there. What a lovely tale of victory to spin to my allies. Ah, what fourth? <sighs> I cannot afford to take both of these. Even taking one of them is iffy. But I will take Succubus. Alright, let's not forget, I took the negative. We're gonna fight Stan. Preserve my health, because I'd rather not die. Lock upgrade! The more coins I can get, the better. Normally, it doesn't matter too much at this point in the game, but you're not going to see me pick up, pick up money equals power and then not try to maximize my wallet. Are you kidding me? Just like I'm trying to max out my hearts. Yeah, baby! Oh, yes. The power it flows through my fingertips and through the depths of my blade. Come, foul creatures of the night! Guys, I think Dark Sage lost it. Yeah, I think he's just excited to have a really strong run. Especially after that first run failed so bad, it's... Oh no, you don't! No, sir. No. We're not playing that game. Take Toxic Shock. Reroll that. I do not care about... about... fucking anemia. Or whatever the item is. I don't care about that either. You know, I will take this because at least anemic is a passive effect. 
Not a great passive effect, but a passive effect nonetheless. No, no sharp straw. It would tick for a lot of damage right now, but there are better actives out there. And honestly, the D6 is one of them. Ooh, Bloody Lust. We'll take Rune Bag. Um, yes, we will take Sacrificial Dagger. Especially with... Hmm? <clears throat> especially with BFFs. We have a giant Sack Dagger. We basically have a Sack Sword. Yay! There's something that doesn't help at all. Little hushy. No thanks. I like prayer card, but not enough to drop the D6. I am going to finish the rest of the floor because I would like to get some more interesting items. You know, like bombs. <laughs> you can't can never have enough bombs! Except when they're sitting in your inventory doing fuck all. We'll take Wishbone. Alright, let's just go take out... Take out the lamb, because after the lamb we're going to do a victory lap. And we are going to just destroy this place. Hey, I'm smart. Now, I know... Oh, they must, they must have taken my black candle from me, you jerks. Now, I know that there is an achievement for doing a bunch of victory laps in a row. I think this might not be the best time to go for it, as I haven't exactly been playing great and doing the... Doing the, doing the lost portion of it without... Without the aid of... Why is my brain broken? Without the aid of the Holy Mantle, just seems like it would be a mistake right now. Like I said, I am not playing great. But I also don't really feel the need to have to slow down for a lot. So we'll just see how strong we can get. Am I a dumbass? Don't answer that question. To be fair, I already know the answer to that question. Hi, pal! Nah. Yes, let's decrease the size of my hurt box, please. Actually, I'm not sure if it even does, but... Toxic Shock is doing me a world of good right now. And a Perthrow. Ooh, I love it. Thank you. Polydactyly don't really need that anymore. I will take the divorce papers, though. You are AWAS. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Take that. Take that. Reroll them. Uh, 
I don't want to avoid the D6, mostly because it just doesn't really work very well. Adversity can foster hope and resilience. All right. Oh, hey, look at that. It stayed open. One more time. Dark bomb. Yes. Uh, sorry, buddy. You're not. You're. You're not good enough. All right. Cool. And then I completely ignore the first soul heart that Dark Bum gives me. I am a jackass. Monstro's Tooth. Nice, but not great. I'm actually not typically not really against Monstro's Tooth, I just don't think it would help this run out very much. There we go. I have enough damage that I don't mind sacrificing a little every now and again for... Oops, didn't mean to pick that up, but alright. don't mind sacrificing a little bit of it for items. Dagoz rune. I love it. I think I am actually going to hold on to that until I need it. I don't mean for health, I mean I'm going to try to hold on to it for for negating a curse since apparently the black candle got taken from me. Black Rune gave me a Tears upgrade there for negating Shoop de Whoop. Absolutely okay with that. Oops. Thanks a lot, Samson's Chain. A real pal, you know that. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. Wire coat hanger. But I'm pretty sure my fire rate isn't going to get any better, which, considering that I have triple shot, that's still pretty good. Strength, chariot, give me that. I re roll you, I re roll you. It's not great with my current setup, but I will take it. Alright, we're just. We're just slashing our way through this game right now. I and mean, look at the power of this run. Are you even mildly surprised? Thank you, Samson Shane. Oh, another black room. Don't mind if I do. lost anything, though. I said you will endure this. Okay, okay, I get it. Shut up. Beautiful. And you are a Hogalaz room. Alright, I don't care. Well, I wonder if I'm going to qualify for boss rush on this run. And yes, I realize that despite what I said, I... I dropped my Degas rune by accident. So, oopsie whoopsie poopsie. Basically, I'm letting, I'm letting whichever direction I go dictate which rooms I go to. If I happen to get to the boss room before anything else, eh. Luck up. Beautiful. Death's list a second time. Okay. I am not against this at all. I will hold on to that. 
that and Yara are pretty much just going to make up the bulk of what I'm going to be doing with this run, pretty much. Which is just making a mad rush. We gonna do it! I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a full house, though, because I don't know how I'm going to get to Mega Stan. So hopefully a get out of jail free card shows up. That's a wonderful synergy with with Dank Bump. I don't think he's that dank. Give me that. Um yeah, that's about all I need. And need is even kind of a strong word, call thing, all things really considered here. Hmm, nothing good here. But, I am going to do a full house run, so we'll pick up the scary face item. Well, Dark Sage, why is it called the Scary Face Item? Have you seen the costume that you get for... <laughs> no more bloat. Have you seen the costume that you get for having that? For, for some god-unforsaken reason, they decided would also be a good costume to have for Dead Dug, which is an Angel Room item, and the face that you get for, that you get for picking that up is fucking horrifying. I can't think of any better way to put the way I'm thinking about that than to just say it in an even more exasperated tone. Fucking terrifying. Oh, you're up there. Yes, so many soul hearts when I'm done with this thing. Eh, thanks to the combination of Dark Bum and Little Chad. Alright, where is your dark beating heart? That would put you out of your misery. Quarter, don't care. It's a speed up, I'll take it. Wasn't getting anything else anyway. Well, except for I was! I absolutely was! Hi! I'm dumb. It's alright, it's not like I need anything right now. This is really just me just holding a commanding lead over over my opponents. What do we have down here? Bombs, eh, yeah, whatever, give them. So in case there were, in case anyone was wondering, yes, we will be fighting Hush. I guarantee I'll make it to Hush in time. Though I might not have enough keys to open all of the doors in Hush's in Hush's chamber, otherwise known as the Blue Womb for those paying attention. So basically any key that I find I'm just hoarding right now. Kind of like how people are hoarding Holding, or they're holding. Hey man, you holding? By the way, I did just recently come across something that said that that you can't run into the matriarch. Yeah, I'll take it again. You can't run into the matriarch if you if you don't go to. 
The simplest object. If you don't go to the scarred womb, I'm showing you with absolute definitive proof that's not true. And there goes my Yara room. Oh well, mistakes are made. And learn from it. Now that time you in that time you speak truth, sir. To fight the abyss, one must know it. I agree with you wholeheartedly. Education is the tool that we need when things look bleak. Part of the reason why current why current world events are a little frustrating, because it seems like some people are plenty happy just not knowing. And even though I definitely agree that we should not we should probably not be fear mongering, I definitely think it's a good idea to, you know, know some stuff. We aren't going to get anywhere just being ignorant. I am going to go back and grab a battery. There's no reason for me to linger around and keep searching around for things on this floor. I'm plenty powerful as is, and I do not need to continue to search for things. As is, I already feel like I'm about to just destroy Hush. I'm about to go down there and end this man's whole career. Um, uh, neither one of these are going to do me much while I have mom's knife, but if nothing better comes up... Uh, oh, Capricorn! If nothing better comes up, <laughs> what's wrong with me? I love having a map. I love that. Man, that's spun, baby! I will buy this battery. Reroll that. Stigmata. Not great. No thank you. Luck and range. Alright. No, 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 no. Give me that. What's wrong with you? And was there anything in here that I wanted? Not really. Is there anything in here that I wanted? I already took it. Alright. Hush. Here we come. But first... <laughs> that looks hilarious. <laughs> Hey, uh, Hush, did you, like, not do that? You can't just be invincible forever, you know. Oh, yeah, watch me. By the way, in case you're wondering what exactly the flat stone is doing for my knives, it actually is making it so that when they bounce, they're doing an... Each bounce does about 25% of my of my normal tier damage. So, unless you have something that doesn't work with flat stone at all, it's worth taking, because even if you miss a shot, you can still hit. We're going to go to this area. And when you have piercing shots, that extra 25% damage is big. 
Now, to be fair, I could be wrong about it being a 25% damage boost, but even when your tiers bounce, they are supposed to do extra damage. That much I know, I just might be wrong on the amount. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Now, I know I'm not that big in the Isaac community right now, but there's a small part of me that th that's wondering, for the, the people who do watch my Isaac videos frequently, have you gotten used to the idea that the Darkest Dungeon Ancestor narrator is just the voice of all my cards and pills? Like, would it feel weird to you to hear something different at this point? Oops. The simplest object can be a talisman against evil. Alright. I almost have enough keys to open up the golden chest in the chest. Almost. Like, it's a, it's a possibility. There, now I can do it. You see how the bounces just did that in additional damage there just to really rack it up? That's the sort of thing I'm talking about. Taken. Or peripheral the rest. Take mom's wig. Now what I'm really looking for is dad's key. I don't know if that's gonna do me any good, but in the hell with it, I'll take it. It is not doing me good. Oh well. I'm happy that I know that now. Didn't having three mom's knives does not make that do anything. So Mom's Knife and Tech Zero will never synergize, and you know what, I'm, I'm fine with that. Ooh, Spider Bite. Ooh, Spider Baby, I don't really care about that though. I don't care about that either. If for no other reason, then I feel really bad for that bird. Alright, well unfortunately I think the run ends there, unless we get lucky and can find Dad's key in a treasure chest from full clearing the chest. But, they have to be chests that we can actually open. Nonetheless, it's worth looking. Hey! Suffer my wrath! So what we really need now is Dad's key, which means that all of these are pointless. One must know it. Bursting sack, no thanks. Not that it's an absolutely horrible item, it's just not very strong outside of the first couple of floors. Hallowed Ground! You know what, let's take it just in case I don't have it on my item list. Same with this. All of those I guarantee I've picked up. Matter of fact, I already have Bloody Lust. 
can use it, but hey, I picked it up now. Agawa's not useful. Yeah, we'll take that. Take flat stone again, why not? It's not gonna make the effect happen twice, but hey, there you go. Tractor beam. I'm actually gonna again just leave that alone. We'll take that. All right, so now let's go back to the room with four items. We actually have a good number of chances because we got some battery drops to try to roll into Dad's key in that room. So let's give it a whirl. Attempt number one. Nope. Attempt number two. Nope. Alright, so we only have two more battery charges. It's gonna be a long this is a long video by the way, so if you've stuck with me the entire way, I appreciate that. I really do. I know it's asking an awful lot to have people wade in this long for one of my videos, so I appreciate it if you stuck with it the whole way. Alright, we've got essentially ten more chances. Here we go. Dad's key! A lot of good items here, but none of them are Dad's key. One more time. Let's hope that this is the one. Will this be the one that gets us to see Mega Stanley? Will we get to solve his parable? Let's find out. Dad's key! Crap. Alright, well, that's the end of the run. That's a shame, I was hoping to do a full house, but to be fair, it can be a little iffy. Probably should have just gone to Delirium from the Blue Womb, but oh well. But, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. That was a blast of a run. I very much enjoyed it. Maybe next time I'll go for the... I'll go for the thousand... victory laps. It's also possible I've already done it, but I don't think I have. So, keep all of that in mind, but again, I appreciate you sticking with it this long. Subscribe to the channel, come check out my stuff, I've got all sorts of it for you to check out. And I have been doing my best to try to be a little bit, a little bit friendlier during my actual gaming content, and I've been saving my more critical opinions for my news pieces. And no, I haven't made many news pieces lately, so... Yeah. Those do take a little bit more time to make and a lot more time to edit together. Anyways, all that having been said, thank you very much for watching. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.